one of Africa's most feared snakes. A master of camouflage and ambush. This venomous viper lies in wait, motionless, as its prey passes unknowingly by. Its natural camouflage and olfactory crypsis allows it to virtually disappear into the landscape, making it one of the most deadly snakes on the continent. Bitus Ariatans. Ariatans means striking violently and is derived from the Latin word arieto, also known as the puff adder, African puff adder, and the common puff adder. Mainly present in sub Saharan Africa, but does include some redding populations in Morocco and Western Arabia, with no presence over the Sahara or any desert, jungle, or rainforest. With a thick, strong body, triangular head, and invisible camouflage, the snake is built for its ambush hunting strategy. The puff adder gets its name from its ability to enlarge or puff its body to appear more intimidating when threatened, and at the same time it hisses loudly to make sure that you get the message. Unless you are food, puff adders do not want to waste energy or venom on you. These defensive features have evolved to scare off predators and threats. However, when threatened, they will not hesitate to strike. With beautiful chevron scale patterns and coloration, which are adapted to the local environment, they come in a wonderful range of palettes. A little understood feature is their olfactory crypsis ability, which means that they can hide their scent. We don't know how it works, but we do know that dogs and meerkats, which rely heavily on their ability to pick up on scents, can struggle to detect puff adders, sometimes whilst walking directly over them. Puff adders are found in savannah, grassland, woodland, semi-desert, and even garden habitats. The puff adder's patient hunting technique involves lying motionless, sometimes for days, waiting for prey to come within striking distance. Using its heat sensing pits to detect body warmth it can accurately strike small animals, birds, reptiles, and even insects in the case of juveniles. But their favorite is surely the striped field mouse. Their hinged, sheathed fangs, which can reach five centimeters, are their primary weapon and can deliver a potent cytotoxic venom in relatively high doses. As an ambusher, Puffies strike quickly and then release the victim. They are not constrictors and prefer to let their prey flee once their venom has been injected. This helps them avoid the risk of harm from wrestling their prey. The cytotoxic venom attacks cells in the body and in a short amount of time has a devastating effect on the prey. To humans, the bite has been described as placing your hand in hot oil and leaving it there for hours. This sensation would overwhelm a rodent in a short while and render it helpless to the predator, which has been tracking the victim since the bite. 
Its potent cytotoxic venom is designed to immobilize prey and aid in digestion. Its lightning fast strike can inject a dose of this destructive venom in an instant. Their sheathed fangs can be replaced by secondary growing fangs, which are lined up in case a fang is damaged or lost. The puff adder also uses the caterpillar movement technique, as well as the more common serpentine motion. The puff adder is crepuscular, which means it is active at dawn and dusk, and it tends to be lethargic and slow moving. Like most snakes, it will only strike a human in defense. Non-venomous bites have been recorded where warning bites do not release any venom, but if a human is bitten by even a juvenile, the results can be devastating. From extreme pain to amputation and even death if untreated, anti-venom treatments are effective but not always easily available in Africa. Hence the feared reputation and high fatality rate. However, even such a dangerous snake has enemies. Puff adders, along with many other African snakes, are preyed upon by eagles, hornbills, Warthogs Honey Badgers Cobras and Leopards Heavily built with a thick girth, males tend to be larger with smaller tails. Large specimens can reach up to 1.5 meters in length, but the average adult tends to be around 1 meter. Sexual maturity is typically reached at 3 to 4 years. During the breeding season, male puff adders engage in combat, wrestling with their bodies to assert dominance over rivals. Gives birth to large live litters of about 12 to sometimes over 80 young. Each one already a perfectly camouflaged miniature predator. Puff adders may live up to 16 years in captivity. This will be considerably less in the wild, perhaps 8 to 10 years on average. The puff adder is an iconic snake. Whilst its beauty and way of life captivates so many people around the world, the puff adder remains a true marvel of nature. From its incredible camouflage abilities to its heat sensing pits, this venomous viper has evolved an array of adaptations that allow it to thrive in the harsh environments it calls home. <laughs>